while back. What? Well, without even trying, my younger sister Olivia took it to a whole new level. Hi, I'm Ava, and just to put it into context, Olivia and I have environmentally aware parents. So we grew up hearing things like, turn the lights off, and if it's yellow, let it mellow, which was no big deal what? until our friends came over. They'd freak out when they saw our yellow toilet water and the sign mom hung on the wall above it. Talk about embarrassing. But at least we didn't have to use the same dirty bath water for weeks on end like I've seen some parents make their kids do online. My parents did have this thing about disposables though. They flat out refused to buy anything that was going to be flushed down the toilet. So we all had these colored square towel washcloths. We'd hang them in the bathroom and use them for cleaning different bits of our body. A white one for the top end and a brown one for the other end. Us girls had a pink one too, and they all had our initials in the corner, so we didn't accidentally wash our face with one dad used on his other end. Anyway, one night Olivia came downstairs wrapped in a towel after her timed three minute shower and announced, my bush is growing too fast. Bush. I snickered a while mom raised her eyebrow. Uh, a bush? A bush? You gotta be kidding me, a bush. <laughs> Why is there a bush? Why a bush? Owen said, well, give it a trim, honey. There's nail scissors in the bathroom cabinet. My sister thought for a second, then stomped back upstairs with her legs turned out like she was riding a horse. She was back, 15 minutes later, in her PJs with her pink washcloth in her hands. Well, what should I do with them? She asked. Mom was busy mending Dad's socks, where his big toenails had poked holes through the top. Without looking up, she asked, What should you do with what, Olivia? My branches. Do you want me to plant them in the herb box by the window? Olivia asked. Mom looked up at her blankly and said, What on earth are you talking about? Olivia just stamped her foot and said, The branches I cut off. What do you want me to do with them? I stared between them both, just as clueless as Mom. Then Olivia yelled, You never listen to me! Dumped her washcloth on the kitchen counter and ran out of the room. Mom put her mending aside and said, Will you get that off there, please? I prepare food on that countertop. As I reluctantly picked up the really? washcloth with my fingertips, something dropped out onto the floor. I looked down and saw the branches Olivia was talking about. What the? On the floor were a couple of these plant-like shoots that had been snipped off at the end, complete with stubby little leaves. Only they were pale pink. I burst out laughing. Very funny, Olivia. Good prank, I said as I picked them up and carefully laid them out on the bench. Olivia came back into the room, wiping her eyes. It's not a prank. I told mom my bush was growing too fast. Something about the look on her face said she wasn't joking. Is there more down there? Mom asked with a horrified look on her face. Olivia nodded. Turns out that one of her friends at school had told her that potatoes were very absorbent and good at eliminating smells. So instead of using her cup that mom gave both of us for that time of the month, Olivia had decided to try her own eco-friendly alternative. Only she'd forgotten about it until it started sprouting branches. Poor Olivia. We spent two hours in the emergency department that night. She's lucky the doctor was able to, um, deliver it before she poisoned herself. Or worse. What's the weirdest environmentally friendly thing you or someone in your family does? Subscribe oh and tell God. us about it. In